Hey everyone, welcome to the tutorial. This is my most requested video. I am doing it for, your, for you guys, so please stick with me. You will need After Effects for this tutorial. It's a program, program by Adobe. You can get it off their website. I'm using Adobe After Effects CC, but it will work with pretty much any version you're running. I'm gonna be doing this tutorial with no plugin, so it is completely After Effects. That's why I'm doing the Omniverse one first because it's the easiest, it's the most basic, and I'll do all the Alien Force ones uh, further on. If you have been waiting on this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you're there and I know that it's appreciated. If you can make it to the end of the video, I'd like to congratulate you because it is quite a long process. So let's take a look at what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be recreating this effect. I've chosen to do the Omniverse one first because it is the easiest. You do not require any third party plugins like say by an optical flares. You can do it all in After Effects. So I'll be starting with this one and then I'll be doing the Alien Force ones later. Um, first off, if you're new to this channel, please give this video a like and subscribe. And let's get into it. So first off, I'm going to create a new composition. Make it 920 by 1080, the aspect ratio that you recorded in. I recorded mine on iPhone and it will be on its side, so I'm going to have to flip it. So let's get our footage, drag it into the comp, wait for it to import, drag it out into our timeline, and first we're going to have to rotate it, so I'm pressing R on the keyboard, and I'll go minus 90, should rotate it. So, the second step is to track our footage right when we want the hologram to appear. In my case, it's right after I tap watch which is right here so from this point I'm going to create a layer new null object I'm going to click on my footage layer uh, animation sorry track motion and this is the tricky part you're gonna have to find a part on your watch that doesn't move too much in my case, I think be this green corner here. We'll see how that goes. I'm just going to test the trap point first by analyzing forward one frame. Um, it seems to stick, so let's give it a try. Didn't like it now. This is about the point where it finishes, so I'll stop it there. Edit target, make sure it's your null object. And then you click apply. So, it sticks to the watch pretty good. If you want to render it quicker, just change your quality so it will render faster. Change the preview. And the null object, let's see if it sticks. Well. Yep. So now we're done that part, let's go to our first keyframe. Um, let's get a layer. Yeah. Solid, I'm going to use a solid. Change the color to green. This is going to be our green. Omniverse green. Now turn that layer off just so you can see what you're drawing. Scroll in with the mouse. and draw a ring around your watch and that'll do let's move this put the center in the watch now click on this mask press ctrl d to create a new one and highlight this one and just make it littler. Put it in the center. Now let's change that mode to subtract. And turn the layer back on. 
one. And that looks about right. Let's just adjust this a little bit. Looks about right. Press T for opacity. Turn it down a little bit. And press F for feather. Okay, bump that up to about 33. Looks alright. Let's have a look at what we're going to be copying. So this one here has a slight darker part where the layers disappear. So let's duplicate this. Control D. Now let's just get a mask and mask out this part here. Um, press M on the layer, mask 3, subtract, change the feathering to about 33 again, and that looks nice. So now it's kind of darker on the bottom. We'll change the opacity too. Make that look a little bit better. Actually, let's grab that. Let's change the opacity back to how it was. Let's grab a curves. Drag that onto your layer. Turn the RGB. Let's play around with it a little bit till we get it how we like it. Just play around with it so you get it how you like it. Looks about alright. Now, we want to parent these to our null one. So click this little swirly loop and drag it to your null. Let's see how that track went. Looks all right. Yep. Now it's time to add some aliens. So, grab your holograms if you don't have them. I'll try and link this down below of my aliens. If not, just type up Omniverse holograms and save these files. I'm going to go back to my folder, drag these into my composition. Now, grab an alien and drop it above there. Press S for scale and scale it down to you have it about you want, how you want it. This is just a basic tutorial, I won't go in into depth about how you're gonna animate them unless it is requested later on I might make one. I'll just show you the basics of how to how to make this effect. A bit larger than the other files, so let's use, use a picture as a reference. So they're kind of rotated as they go out. We've got four, five actually, and they rotate a bit. So we're going to press R and rotate it a little bit. Back to scale, S for scale. I'm going to put that about where it looks right.
Okay, so once you have all your aliens adjusted roughly, we're going to parent all of them to our null. So remember, that's the thing that, that moves it to our tracked footage. So select them all with shift and then select, grab one parent and put it to the null. Now let's see how it tracks. Yep, looks good. Okay, as you can see, this is the ring that we've made. Now, um, from, from the series, you can see that the selected alien has this rectangle shade around him. To add a bit of an of a extra effect, what we're going to do is create a new um, effect layer, new adjustment layer. Drag it to the very mm, top of the solids there. Now, H for the hand tool to drag. I'm going to make a rectangle, rounded rectangle, around the top alien. Double click the mask just to adjust it a little bit. Now we're going to add curves. F for the mask feather. Just that out a little bit. Now, if we had our third party plugins, we could make a better version of this. But at the moment, this is just the basics without any extra plugins or anything. You can do it all just inside After Effects. Now, remember to track everything to that null. That's what I just did there with my adjustment layer. I tracked it to the null. Now, let's take a preview of our footage. Looks good. So now we're going to do a little bit of animating, just some basics um, for when we want the string to appear. So for me, it's with the tap. So let's grab all of our layers that are in the ring with shift um, and pre-compose them. Actually, first we're going to select none. Don't move this keyframe while you're doing it, otherwise it will be all off center. We're going to pre-compose all of our layers and then parent that to the null. And this adjustment layer is off slightly. But it still looks okay. Now, what we're going to do is some basic animating. So we're doing it all as one pre-composite. Pre we're not doing them individually as individual aliens. So let's set the press T for where you want it to start. Press the keyframe and find where you want the ring to pop up. For me, it's about here. Move that keyframe up there. Change it to zero. And when you want it to have a pin, change that value to 100. If you wanted to go a little bit further, you could add a scale. So press S. Now make one keyframe, press U to match it to the other one, the other 100 value. Change this value to 0. And 0. Now it's gonna be off centered, so we're gonna do another one with P. P position, press the keyframe, press U to bring up all our values. The one that we want here, and put it there. And then we're gonna create one where we have it at the end, so it's coming from the actual watch. Oh, do mean that. coming from the actual watch. And then we're going to move that all the way back here slightly. Because it faded away, we can't see where it's coming from. Let's 
that little preview. Looks alright. Yeah. And that is the basics of uh, Omnitrix. So we have our footage. The ring appears. And that's the end of it. Let's just trim these. Control Shift D and delete that part there. Now let's trim our workspace to match our footage. Now we're going to composition, add to render queue. If you want a high resolution file, save it as AVI. But for me, I just want a basic MP4 file. Um, you can't do that inside of After Effects. So I'm going to be rendering into Adobe Media Encoder. And basically, that's the end of the tutorial. If you render it, just composition, add to render queue, pre comp. Choose where you want it to save. Press save, and it will save your video. Thanks for watching. Remember to click like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you to all the people that have supported my videos in the past. There will be more coming out, so stay tuned. I'd also like to give a shout out to my clothing brand system. I'll have the link in the description so you can check that out. Thank you.